beautiful people. Psychic Debbie here, hoping you're having a great morning, afternoon, and evening. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. You're like, uh, isn't somebody missing? Where did they go? <laughs> He's going to join us in a couple of minutes here, but I want to talk about some of the th predictions that came true and about the retreats and all that stuff. And um, he, he was just going, uh, I'm just going to sit there and smile. <laughs> So let me talk about my stuff, and then when he comes in, we're gonna be—it's gonna be all about the Timberwolves, the Tulip and the Timberwolf, and it's fantastic stories. Thank you to all the people that have donated already. I will tell you where to donate, so don't need, don't donate on my place yet. I will give you places where you can donate if you're wanting to. If you can't donate on this, please. After the video is up, do a lot of comments and shares and all that stuff so it can go out into the world, okay? So, beautiful, beautiful people. There's a couple things I want to talk to you about, and then we're going to get into the Timberwolves. Um, if, it goes really, if it goes over the hour, I hope you guys don't care that if it goes over the hour and, and doing the readings and things like that. Okay, so... Um, you know that we have the Sedona retreat next week, and that's all booked already. So you beautiful people that are coming, we're ex super excited. I can't wait. It's going to be, you know, the solar eclipse and all that stuff. So I can't, can't wait. Woohoo! So um, we're having another Sedona retreat. If you want to be in it, it's in September. I believe it's September 13th to the 19th. If I don't have the dates right, sorry, but it's around that time. If you are truly, truly interested, please go to Hana, J-A-N-A, -A, at wildflowers, with an S, within, dot com, and tell her that you're for the retreat. If it doesn't work, then go to my email, photo, psychic, Debbie, at gmail.com, and say, I want to go to the retreat. We're also going to be doing a retreat. We're going to try to get together. It depends on how many people we can get in Tulum, but that would be in November. So if you're interested in that, there will not be any ayahuasca on that but there will be a lot of other spiritual places. I mean, it's like a five-star place. We have the whole place to ourselves. There'll be a sweat lodge. There'll be the, the ocean. I mean, there's, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's like move over. <laughs> so I can't wait for that too. So if you're interested, please let us know. First come, first serve, okay? So we'd like you beautiful people to get in there. We sent, um, if you're like already sent it on the list, you should have gotten an email from Hana. If you didn't, Please email me, and then we'll see if you can get that email, okay? Uh, also, with this, please go to TikTok, and it would be at Timberwolf Story, where my son will be talking about these things. We're hoping we want at least a 1,000 followers so that when he's in Holland going with these veterans that he will do lives over there so that you guys can see Holland, you can see some of these veterans, some of these places that they're going. So... Please connect on uh, at Timberwolves, and it's the W-O-L-F. It's like this, how it's spelled here behind me, a story. And so uh, connect with that, too. I would appreciate it. Also go on my TikTok, Psychic Debbie Griggs, because I'm going to do some lives at the, at the uh, retreat, at the Sedona retreat and some of the vortexes, and maybe you can feel the vibration. Feel vibration. <laughs> that kind of thing. Beautiful. Thank you, Kathy. There's 123 people in the house. Woo woo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let me talk about a couple of the things that um, um, that's come true. I just want to go really fast on that because people are going, why are you doing it on here? Because in three weeks after the retreat and uh, it's going to be like three weeks and then the, the, the predictions are going to be gone. So Remember I was telling you about, and it was uh, about, there's that Minnesota accent. Um, um, in the beginning of the year, I said that the Midwest or the Northeast, or, you know, the upper states were going to get like hot record highs. And then all of a sudden there's going to be a snowstorm. Well, guess what? Minnesota has gotten a lot of snow. Colorado's gotten a lot of snow. Um, a lot of the Northeast, Northwest got a lot of snow. And then it was really hot. They broke records for the high. And then all of a sudden a snowstorm came in. So that definitely came true the cape middleton i said before and i've done it with re through readings i've done it through the show that i said i thought she had cancer but i thought it was around the female organs they haven't said what she has yet but that's what i was seeing so that came true um remember unfortunately the bridge that has fallen down um london bridge had fallen down 
Okay, so the, the bridge that fell down, remember I was talking about, uh, I saw buildings falling down, I saw structures falling down, and that there was going to be issues with ships. And I uh, said that numerous of times. And then uh, that there would be things that were going to happen like this to get to people, to get the people together. So let's please send prayers to the family, to the area, um, just sending lots of prayers to everyone there. And it, believe it or not, I saw it on TikTok right away. It was like one o'clock their time. It was 11 o'clock our time. And, I, and Spirit said, look at TikTok. And then all of a sudden they were showing the, the video. And I was like, oh my God, send prayers, send prayers. So let's send prayers to those beautiful people. Also, there was a cruise, a carnival cruise. And I was talking about ships again. There was a big fire in the Bahamas. There was a cruise in the Bahamas and that went crazy too. Fire and cruise, which I've been talking about. Um, solar flares, massive solar flares. Our internet and everything has been going crazy because of these solar flares. So, and I'm still feeling because mm, of earthquake. So I'm not, uh, I'm not feeling too good on that either. The Riley strain. When my daughter texts me this about Riley strain, I told her from day one that um, I said he was in the water, and I told you beautiful people that too. And we were. She was really, really into this story, and I said he's down a couple miles down. He's down where they're looking and he's stuck underneath a tree or a rock or something like that. And that's exactly what happened to him. So let's please, and my daughter was even texted me back and said, you were right. <gasps> Should I be in shock? My daughter said I was right. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding, Sophia. So, um, um, so let's send prayers to that family. Let's send beautiful, beautiful prayers to that family, okay? So that is that. Um, I'm trying to think of something else. Okay, so we are going to talk about um, the Timberwolves and how this all started and why we want you to kind of listen. And we're going to be talking about the veterans. We're going to talk about the story of how this all happened and all that beautiful thing. So I want you to uh, clap and say yay. And I'm going to invite my son to come in. Okay. And ta -da! Hi, everybody. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> so do we look like... Uh, Mom and, and son. <laughs> so, yes. Um, and we've already had a couple people uh, donate. So we've had um, a Michelle, a Maryland, and a Sylvester or Alex that has uh, already donated. We are going to, you're going to tell them where to donate? or yes. Okay. So, um, first of all, thank you for connecting with us. This is about the Timberwolves. It's an army. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it, and then we'll tell them where to all donate. Right. Okay, so uh, there is a division called the 104th Timberwolves Division. Um, they were from, yeah, uh, they were based out of Camp Adair, Oregon. Um, and they were actually assembled to be a training group, help train soldiers to get ready to go overseas. Um, For what war? No, just in general. Oh, okay. But then World War II came along, and so they needed more soldiers. So they went to Europe in the summer of 1945, so right after D-Day, um, and they were considered a night fighting group. Uh, one of their nicknames was the Night Fighters. Uh, they had a very interesting tactical way of fighting at night um, to save soldiers, save lives with less casualties. So for example, they wouldn't shoot first at night, so if a gun went off, they knew it was the enemy. So then they knew either go away from the light or go towards it and take out the enemy without taking out anyone else. Uh, so little things like that. So then they were there to help clean up the war. Um, people would go through towns, they would kind of clean up. Then they got to the point where the war was going through Belgium and Holland. Um, and they kind of caught up to the war. So then they became liberators. They liberated towns in Belgium, they liberated towns in Holland and then they eventually liberated towns in Germany by then um, meeting at the end of the war in, uh, sorry, it was the summer of 44, spring of 45 is when they helped end the war in the spring of 45. Um, so that's a lot of the uh, fun facts, footnotes of that. Now the reason why it's very interesting is one, they were one of the most successful divisions in the war that no one really knows about. Um, they had about the least amount of casualties um, and then after this, obviously, they were going to go to the Pacific, but then Japan surrendered, and that was it. Um, they dismembered. So okay. they had one division, or uh, one tour, and it was successful. 
Well, fantastic. So that's a little bit about what's uh, a little bit about. <laughs> a little bit about. <laughs> about. I, 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 maybe the Dutch came out of there. Yeah. So a little bit about what's going on. So um, our family is from Holland. So so that's why. Why do you feel? Okay. So how did this start out about? Finding about the Timberwolves. I'm gonna act, I'm gonna act like I don't know my son, <laughs> I, and I'm gonna yeah. question him. You're gonna be like, "Why is she questioning him <laughs> like that?" I, it's like I need to get him, you know, answer. Yeah. All right. Thanks. <laughs> um, but people are saying hi to Davey to you. They think you're cute right. and handsome. He resembles you, Debbie. Sorry, cute I'm young taken. man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just got married. They know that. So interesting. My dad was in World War II. Fantastic. Also, Germany, I did not know that. Yes, yes. Yeah, so keep in mind, Nazis did not mean Germans. <laughs> there were Germans who were obviously part of the Nazi brigade, but not all Germans were Nazis. Yes. So there were a lot of Germans that had no choice, uh, were obviously uh, taken over by the Nazis, but didn't want to be under Nazi ruling. So that is kind of a misconception that not all Germans were bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, so that was fantastic. Um, but the reason we are connected to this, as mom said, um, our family, her parents, are from Holland or from the Netherlands. Your, your, my what, grandmother. What you call her? Oma. Oma. <laughs> so if you hear him say Oma, Oma we're talking yeah. about Oma. Uh, yeah. So she was about eight years old when the war ended, and um, she was liberated by the 104th Timberwolves. Da, 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 da. Um, so but she, how did you find out about that? Did you ask her or did she tell you? So, or? well, I'll kind of tell her story and okay. then how I found out. <laughs> I think it was just from talking. Up a little bit. Right. Sorry. Um, so she obviously was liberated by the division. And then she grew up as a kid knowing, you know, the Americans game and had these stories. I grew up on stories of her talking about the Americans liberating us and all that good stuff. And her trying to take care of the soldiers by putting band-aids on them and giving them gifts and stuff as a thank you. And so as flowers. you know, yeah, flowers, yeah. apples. Um, it was the first time she had white bread, I think. <laughs> yeah. Like, so good. And like American chocolate. Um, and then obviously she moves to New Zealand, has this person and then they move to the States. Um, long story short, she ends up in the state of Oregon and uh, starts taking a writing class. And in the writing class, she's trying to write these kind of memoirs and stuff, and she's not the best at writing, so she's wanting to do the best she can to leave these stories for me and other family members. And so she shares a story about uh, when the Timberwolves came to town to liberate us. And I guess one of the other people in the class um, said, oh, my dad's a Timberwolf. I said, really? I said, yeah, he's still alive. Do you want to meet him? She said, yeah. So 75 years later, she met one of the men okay. that liberated her in, uh, in Holland. And here's a picture of them. Yeah. And that's Oma that's... and Paul Franklin, um, which we've come to be close with the uh, Franklin family. Um, so they met each other. And then obviously Oma was happy to talk about it. So she told me about it, um, that, oh, I got to meet one of the men that freed me as a girl. <laughs> so... I thought, well, that's an interesting story. <laughs> so that's kind of how we got to this project. Um, anything else yeah. That? So what is kind of cool is um, here you meeting someone that liberated not only your family. I wouldn't be here. He wouldn't be here. Right. My grandkids wouldn't be here. Um, if, if these beautiful uh, timber wolves... And I'm sure it was men and female, everybody working yeah, together. The nurses, the, the nurses, doctors, the doctors, the, yeah. um, all kinds of race. Everything was there to help us. And in in Holland, if people are from Holland, they recognize like the Timberwolves big time to the point that a lot of people that are in America, if you go up to them and say the Timberwolves, they're like basketball, and they're you know what I mean. It's like uh, no, yeah. they're the ones that help liberate a you know Belgium. Holland and Germany, right? Yeah, mostly Holland and Germany, but yeah. Right. Yeah. So they did go through Belgium, though, right? Yeah, they were pretty much done with Belgium, but they caught up and they helped. Um, again, not a history lesson, but uh, the port of Antwerp for the history buffs. Uh -huh. um, it was similar to Normandy, how Normandy was the main entrance from like England and the Allies. The Timberwolves helped to get Antwerp open, so it was two entrances into Europe instead of just one. And that connects Belgium and Holland. It's right. kind of a, safe, or a shared port. 
Right. So um, uh, it sounds like this group deserves so much recognition. Yes, they do. Right. And then um, Carmen says, love this story. My husband is in the military. He spent some time visiting Netherlands during the liberation celebration. And he would tell you it's a big <laughs> thing. And here, chirp, chirp, right? I think we yeah. need to honor these veterans in all different kinds of wars, you know, mm. the Vietnam and, and all that stuff, too. But... Um, yeah, it's we're really wanting to honor these veterans going so to the trip to Holland, helping yeah, them. Yeah, so um, what happened was, yeah, I noticed that Americans didn't really know about this specific division. They knew about some from like Band of Brothers and obviously Pearl Harbor and stuff like that. And even my best friend, Curran, is in the Army and he didn't know about them. Right. <laughs> and he's in the Army. So, uh, you know, there's certain people that if you go deep enough, they're like, oh, yeah, the Timberwolves. You know, it's kind of like a trivia question, like, which division? Um so it's very only a few people know but like we're saying in holland and what oma told us and people have told us there's streets named after the timberwolves they have monuments um her town of audenbosch is has a statue um or like a plaque on one of their um uh, business buildings um and they still have uh events every memorial day i believe they lay tulips still to this day on all the graves of uh, the Americans, the Canadians, the Polish, every, all the allies that um, didn't come and back home. And let's let's slow down and talk about that because their their um, grave sites. There is a list. I, I mean, how many thousands, hundreds mm. of thousands of people are waiting to get on the list to help take care of the cemetery yeah. of like where the Timberwolves were, or the American soldiers, or the other soldiers are. They're fighting to keep clean their their grave sites, the cemeteries. I mean, talking about being honored. And here in America, we're like, chirp, 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 right? It's like, come on. So um, they deserve this kind of thing. And so these veterans that are um, going from Oregon, most of them are probably in their 90s and 100, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't they're think pretty there's... much, it's only maybe less than a handful left. I know there's one that they uh, share because they have a face their own Facebook page and stuff, which we can get into. Um, that they show him going to different events and stuff. Um, but, I mean, because of this story, because of this idea I had, um, it connected me with the Timberwolves um, through OMA. They know OMA. Um, they actually have a group called the Timberwolf Pups, um, which is run by the children um, and grandchildren of, uh, oh. of the soldiers right. <laughs> of the Timberwolves. And to preserve their stories. They have books written about them. Um, and you book? can always go to, uh, I believe it's the 104... Division InfantryDivision.org. They have a book called Timberwolf Tracks, which is stories about the Timberwolves from the Timberwolves. Um, there's another book, too, that is like clippings from um, journal entries and stuff like that. So the family members have done a great job of preserving their history. We just want to extend that so it's not just the family members that know who they are, but America, Holland, you know, the world knows about these brave men that. So I've so had a couple. I've had a couple people on here say, "Make a movie. That should be a movie." So, <laughs> hmm, what do you think of that, Kennard? Weird. So I had a similar thought. Um, so because he does. Well, you gotta act, you gotta tell him a little bit about yourself. In what way? <laughs> well, I, because I, of how it connects with movies. That I film movies, or well, that, that he films movies and things okay. like that. Yeah, because I have written and filmed uh, mostly short films written feature films. Um, so I've done my own kind of projects um, that I've worked on. And I've been thinking about, well, what would be a good feature film? And around this time is when I found about Oma's story. And I thought that'd be a great film idea. So um, I, I started doing what I because, could do to control it, right. which is making a short film. So um, what they call a proof of concept. So I said, if I want to make this into a feature, I want to show a, pretty much like a scene um, or the idea of the film, and then you pitch that to producers and studios and try and get the funding to create the feature film. So I did a short film back in 2020 <laughs> uh, with uh, the help of my sister in Minnesota. She was That's allowed us to use um, her land, and we filmed back there a little short film. So last year, um, we took, this is what the short film was, The Tulip, A Timberwolf Story. And As you can kind of see, it went to a few... Um, Film, <laughs> film festivals, festivals and it won, won a few awards. Um, and so with that, uh, I guess we can go into, can I go into yep. who we signed with? Okay, so. Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you want to do the donation thing? Uh, sure, if you want. Okay, go Show for it. Show that first. 
Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> before we get into the exciting stuff, um, if you'd like to donate, I know you've been asking about donating through Mom's page, and for those of you who have already, we really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, we are finding it a little easier to streamline to donate to this specific page. Um, Which is just made for this Timberwolf yeah. situation. So if you either go to the Venmo, um, I do have a production company called Treasure Sky Productions. Um, if you go to that website and go to the Donate tab, it's just specifically for this um, this Holland project that we're talking about. Or if you have Venmo, again. sure. If you have Venmo, um, you can go to at Treasure Sky on Venmo. It's kind of a quick one-two punch on there too. But say it out loud for people that's because if I put to this donate, on the podcast, yeah, say yeah, it out loud. To donate, go to Venmo at Treasure Sky or at um, treasureskyproduction.com and just go to the donate tab and you can donate through PayPal there. Yeah, yeah that would help a lot. It would help a lot because we're trying to get donations for numerous of things, uh, helping the vets go over there. Yeah, so that leads into this next okay, project. So, so um, I will say uh, we have um, we had the opportunity to work with a pretty big name. Um, we'll reveal that near at the end. Uh, yeah. It's the first time we're telling anyone. <laughs> so um, in the um, this uh, edit of the project is kind of the first draft, if you will. So this right. is what we did with that, um, taking it to all these festivals and all that good stuff. Uh, now so it's kind of like a sizzle reel. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, so it's now really that, short, now six that minutes. We've finished that um, and we were had the opportunity, uh, thank you, in a weird way, thank you to the strike, we were able to get a Academy Award winning actor to do the voiceover for this proof of concept short film. Um, so because can of that, can you guess who it is? Put it on there. Yeah, if you can guess. guess who it is, we'll give hints throughout the rest of the, <laughs> the live to see if you can kind of narrow down, and then we'll reveal it at the end. It's pretty exciting, um, but it's an Academy Award winner, um, and he uh, helped us out because of the strike. Because of that, we're redoing the short film to then add him to it and resubmit to festivals. Because with film festivals, you have to switch it enough that they're allowing you to resubmit it, or they're right. just gonna say it's the same film. <laughs> so yeah. now that we have him, we want to match it to his quality. Someone guess Tom Hanks. That'd be a good idea. Everyone, that's we the hard thing. We would love it. Or Brad Pitt. <laughs> he. Hada uh, hada. Okay. <laughs> it's not your movie. Um, I'm just waiting for Robert Redford to pop up. Yeah, Robert um, Redford. Yeah. So My boyfriend. I will say he's not. Um, he's not known for war films. Who's so. that? The guy that we have. He's, yeah, he's, he's not, not war, known yeah. for war films. Um, and he won the Academy Award later in life. So, um, he, so, And let me tell the story of that. He went to a psychic, and a psychic told him, yes, I see you um, winning an Academy Award or being very famous, but you're going to be old. And then when he got his award, he goes, the psychic told me that. And he goes, but I didn't think I was going to be this old. I didn't think <laughs> I'd have to wait this long to, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> So he believes in psychics. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Got Morgan Freeman. He'd have a great voice for it. Nicolas Cage. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll kind of get back to that, play some other hints on that. But um, because of that, we've had this opportunity of reaching out to certain people. And enough times passed that we also found out about the Timberwolves. Uh, you said someone mentioned that their husband went to the liberating ceremony. Yeah. Um, they do it about every five years. So... This year is the 80th anniversary 80th. of them liberating Holland. So the exciting part with that, we have this film idea we're pitching to. We've already pitched to the Timberwolf Pups. Um, they luckily invited um, me and my wife to Washington, D.C. last year. And that's actually the same weekend we found out we got the Academy Award winner to join. Um, and we showed that for some of the veterans who are still alive, uh, some of their family members that attended the um, Timberwolf Pups trip. Um, this year it's going to be in Holland um, to uh, commemorate the 80th anniversary of the liberation. So we're trying to get out there. So that is the main purpose of, of us raising money to um, help out the, the veterans kind of film this we once to in a, a lifetime yeah, a, occasion. That 80 years later we get to see these men walk the same steps they walked when they were just kids and see the effects that it has on not just them, but us. Show them in real life. Again, that's what the story is based off of. It's really a butterfly effect. Right. Without that soldier taking care of my grandmother, she doesn't have mom. Mom doesn't have me or Sophia. Yeah. Sophia doesn't have her. You know, it's it's such a, it's like a, ripple, a ripple effect. effect. That yeah. it's, it's 
shows you that if you're ever stuck in a rut or you're stuck in a situation or you don't know why you're going through something, you might not get your answer till 80 years later. <laughs> Hopefully these guys are acknowledged. Or, but... or like the guy <laughs> 60 years later to get the award. You know right. what I mean? It's but for like... the veterans, it's, yeah. you know, you want, you know, I'm sure they hear it, but to bring this story on a big enough scale, um, you know, there's only a couple left, so they're not going to be able to do this trip again. And it's a way to um, commemorate that. And honor um, that. And get... So it lives forever on film. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Some people are guessing. Let's let's put some names on here. Some Tom Hanks, Brad yeah. Pitt, yeah, keep uh, Morgan Freeman, Liam Neeson. Yeah, that'd be John. I, I can't see what that says. Glasses, Debbie. Glasses. John. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, Morgan Freeman. That would be cool. George right. Lucas, Liam Neeson, Denzel uh, Washington. Denzel Washington, a Jew. So I will nerd. say uh, Christopher Plummer. <laughs> well, I think he's passed. Yeah, he's honey. passed away. <laughs> Um, Anthony George Hopkins, Clooney, George Harrison Clooney, Ford. And, and, so he is um, again Academy Award winner. Um, he's he there. So I'll tell you the reason how we got him. Um, so we had uh, the strike, the actor strike, the writer strike. Um, I am a member of SAG, so I noticed the strike. I helped with uh, the picket lines and all that good stuff. Um, so years ago, I was reaching out to people when I first wrote this feature film, trying to attach names to it. This particular person I reached out to because they happen to go to the University of Montana, where I grew up. Our campus. Yeah, Yeah. that's where I grew up. So go Grizz. Um, So I reached out to his people. They said, no, he's too busy. (laughs) And said, okay, well, you know, I'm a kid from Montana. I thought I'd reach out. And they're like, yeah, he's too busy. I'm like, okay, respect that. That's fine. But it stuck with me for a while. So then the strike came. And in my mind, I thought, huh, I wonder if he's still busy (laughs) because there's a strike. which he was, which was crazy. Uh, I reached out to his agent again. I think enough time passed that he didn't realize who I was. <laughs> I wasn't this annoying kid reaching out to him. So I tried it again. I said, hey, you know, I'm from Montana. Uh, this guy, or your client went to University of Montana. I thought if you'd be able to help me out with a short um, voiceover for a short film, yada, yada, yada. Um, and he came back, he said, yeah, let me reach out to him. Reached out to him, he said, yeah, he'll do it. So we worked out a deal. Um, and to show you how busy he was, it, uh, we were in DC at the time. He said, uh, well, can you make it to New York uh, on Tuesday? We were leaving Sunday. I'm like, oh, I'm not sure. He's like, well, he might be in LA. So I'm like, oh, I'll be back in LA um, on Sunday. So we can do it Monday or whatever. Get back to um, LA, then we get, nope, he's actually staying in New York because he's flying to England. So you can get him on Tuesday between 2 and 4 p.m. <laughs> like I said, two it is. <laughs> so <laughs> I want to give him enough time to get ready for his trip. So he's a big enough star that he's constantly working, um, not just film, but television and commercials. Um, so a few more hints. We can see if we get them. Jeff Bridges would be a good one. Or Kevin Cosner. There's another Kevin story Cosner. on that. That's another story. That Clint Eastwood. Um, someone said... Um, the Timberwolf version, version of It's a Wonderful Life, so. which is my son's favorite <laughs> movie. Yes. Uh, there's actually a lot of themes and uh, um, tip of the cap to It's a Wonderful Life in the feature film. So let's donate so we can see that. And I don't have to tell you what the scenes yeah. are. You can just watch the scenes. Because <laughs> we're going to um, be putting little things yeah, in there, too. Yeah, it was too. very heavily yeah. influenced by It's a Wonderful Life, by A League of Their Own, um, even little nods to the Thin Man series. There's a lot of... I, I love old films. I don't know if Mom told you that. <laughs> I got him addicted it, to old films. TCM we and all that it, stuff. Yeah, turn to classic movies. Yeah. And we've oh, been, we've, I will say someone got it, but I'm not going to say <laughs> who got it. <laughs> they got it. Good job. Good job. Uh, should I give them a free question? <laughs> make, make the movie. I, I predict it will be a success. Thank you. Yes, yes we are really... Yeah, um... And we we're really want to do it. it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It, to me, it's almost like, and I'm not going to say it's the same, but it's like Schindler's, Schind- Schindler? Schindler's List, <laughs> where it's that part, that's perception. Do you know what I mean? For the thing. So, um, and my dad's side of the family helped uh, with the Jewish people, you know, yeah. underground and all that stuff. But um, this is to, is to, like, to honor these beautiful veterans and from all walks of life that help liberate because it, it, I'm sure it's connected to a lot of your families. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, it's, it's so connected too because it's, it's a, a popular genre. Um, it's popular genre. 
Tom Selleck. That would be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a popular genre, but it's a unique story to that genre. So people may be like, oh, another war film. Let me guess. Da, da, da. But you don't really hear about Holland and the war too often. Um, and you don't hear about their connection with America, too. So, well, Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, so Audrey Hepburn has a big influence on it, too. Um, I think she was, she was born Dutch. in Belgium. Yeah. But or no, she was born in Holland, but grew up in Belgium. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And her story kind of correlates with Oma's story, too. So there's a right. whole generation of people that are thankful to not just the uh, Timberwolves division, but... Um, all soldiers <laughs> even connected with her son i don't know if you want to talk about that or not but oh, okay yeah <laughs> I mean, um, yeah we've connected to him to help out well with... spirit told me to um spirit was talking to me and said you need to tell your son to talk to connect to audrey hepburn mm -hmm. and um her her son because he did a film on um mm. um that's a donation yep. uh thank you tim tam <laughs> tim tam Tim Tam. Tim Tam. Thank you, Tim Tam. $20. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, so Spears said, you need to tell your son to get a hold of, of um, Sean Hepburn. And, and when I said it to Kenny, he's like, I'm not going to be able to get a hold of him. He's not going well, to answer last, the phone. I spent the last year reaching out to all these people. people and, and nobody's just, answering yeah, them. Or it was a quick, yeah, you have to pay this much. And I'm like, I don't have that much money. <laughs> um, yeah, but he helped out Give me with the book. Um, this book. Yeah, because someone said, "Is there a book on it?" Go oh, ahead while yeah. you talk. Um, to help out, um, he did a, a documentary film, and so I reached out to him, and uh, he wrote back. <laughs> yeah, it was really weird. He's yeah. like, he he called me back. <laughs> um, so he's been helping out with um, like tips on how to raise money and how to uh, get funds for the film and stuff like that so i've been in contact with him that's another thing when we reveal who the uh uh voiceover is the actor who's doing the voiceover for the film um the nice thing is after that step then sean said send me the film when it's done with the voiceover actor right uh send it to him uh the actor's agent said send it to him when it's done and they may be able to help um, get it into higher festivals and uh, uh, get it shown just to make but, that next step. So we have that going on, and that's with people saying you should make this, uh, okay. um, you know, make this a movie. We're in the process of that by doing the short film. Also, by doing this documentary about the 80th anniversary, we think this will not only uh, um, honor the veterans, but have them a part of the story. Because at this point, the film gets made next year there who knows most, who's going to pass lot, away most of them are going to be gone so um the film you know the feature film we don't want it to be rushed we want it to be done right so if it is done right it may take some time It'll take this years, gives us yeah. an opportunity to um show the veterans um and and be a part of that moment i mean how many times <laughs> it's 80 years you know this is the last time they they're, they're going to touch that to soil and be able to go and and so with that we also want to film them and possibly aside, you know, we have different levels of dreams. <laughs> One of the dreams is film them in the ceremony as B-roll footage. So when we make the actual feature, we can insert those scenes of the actual veterans interacting with the people in the actual spots that they're holding the ceremony, the grave sites, uh, the, the landmarks, and then uh, edit that within the feature film um, so the Timberwolf pups have something to look forward to and see their dad. Hey, my dad's in this film. <laughs> you know, yeah, even yeah. after he's gone, he's still with us, and I can go back to it and watch it. So, um, okay, yeah. so let's stop for a minute. You yeah. guys are the only ones that have donated so far. Yeah. Um, if you're thinking, oh, they're getting donations from left and right, nope. So far, <laughs> you guys are the only ones that are donating. Yes. Okay. So let's um, let's go back. So happy to Max donated. I don't know how much you donated. Um, Linda, she donated on the Venmo $25. Thank you for that, Linda. Vanilla um, Child. Child, she donated $15. Thank you for that, child. Um, um, Lawrence says donate. Did you donate or, or um, you're just telling people to donate? <laughs> <laughs> if you donated, great. Someone put in the comments how to donate. Okay, so put it up again yeah, and hold again. it. So and, and tell also, them how to do it. Um, when this is posted on YouTube as well, we're gonna have the uh, 
the interactive link under the video description. We'll be sharing this video as well. But those are the spots to go to to go directly to the production company. Okay, say it again. To donate. Yep. Oh. So if you have Venmo, that's the easiest, quickest is at Treasure Sky or go to treasureskyproduction.com and select the donate tab and that will have you donate through PayPal. Okay, and then if they don't have Venmo, just go to your website? Yeah, go to the website, treasureskyproduction.com Treasure Sky. and donate. All okay, right. so so is that, Nancy, did you donate? Um, Nancy, da, 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 da. is that $50? So glad you are recognizing these people. Or is it the two dollars? Because I see two dollars and five dollars, so I don't know which $52. one. Fifty-two dollars. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Nancy. Because we had other people too before we started. Um, there was a Marilyn, Marilyn that Michelle. donated fifty dollars. Uh, Michelle, a hundred dollars, and um, either Alex or Sylvester, a hundred and eleven dollars and eleven cents. <laughs> so it all helps. It yes. all helps because we got to get them. Um, um, we got to get them flying over there so they, they yeah, can see. Yeah, so I have um, people I've worked with on other films. Um, so we're trying to pay to fly over there. Um, we're having a, a, a DP, director of photography, over there. Um, so the production to get over there is going to cost money. Probably about um, 10000 bucks. <laughs> yeah, so the flights, the cost of equipment, the cost of pre-production, production, and post-production. If anyone's in film... Uh, the classic saying is 50% goes into post-production. So you always forget about the post-production because the fun part's doing the filming. It should be $50. Um, Thank you, Nancy. So uh, a lot of money goes into this. We're looking into film grants. Um, so even if you're not able to donate today, if you can, uh, if you have ideas or if you've done something like this before on, hey, I've gone to this site or I've gone to this person who knows how to raise money for this kind of fund, uh, that would be very much appreciated as well. Um, we also are making donations to the Timberwolf Pups. Um, you can donate on their website too, on 104infantrydivision.org. Um, if you wanted to go straight to the if pups, you want to go straight to, to them, and that's then... where you can get order uh, this book as well, Timberwolf Tracks. Um, this uh, tells the story of the Timberwolves too. That's the other thing about this film and about the book. Um, they only had the one tour. And so there's a start, a middle, and an end. <laughs> so story-wise, it's very, uh, it's a clean story. It's it's very easy to follow. Um, and the if you're not sure, I don't know if anyone's asked, but this is a um, fictional story. So it's uh, inspired by the events um, that happened here. Um, so the tulip, a Timberwolf story. Um, I can tell you what the story's about. Obviously, we're going to be hopefully showing it at more um, film festivals. So if you're near those areas, we'll let mom know. She can comment. We had people in Arizona come out. Um, when we did this film, dad went with me <laughs> to Arizona. And uh, they were holding a special event for the short film. And this lady came in with like a thick New York accent. She was very like, hey, how you doing? And I'm from New York. Hey, hey, hey. And she like turns around. She's like, you're too young to be here. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm like, uh, I wrote the film. She's like, oh my gosh, my dad was a Timberwolf. And we have a second house here in Arizona. And we moved our trip up a week just so we can come see this. It's so nice. And she started talking to me about her dad. And, um, you know, a lot of their parents didn't talk about the war. Um, it was kind of, that's what they did. And that was the past. So seeing them open up to a complete stranger <laughs> just because we had that connection about their dad uh, happened to save my family is a great bonding connection. Yeah. It's a great uh, way to open up and interact with people. Um, and that's another thing, too. If you want to follow along with the story or see some other stories from the Timberwolves themselves, I do have a TikTok page dedicated to this um, at Timberwolves Story. And it's spelled and like this. Yeah, so it's a just like that section without the A. Timberwolf's story. So you know, the at plural. sign. Yeah. yeah. Uh, at TikTok. So we've done like uh, today in Timberwolf's history. We've talked about um, some infamous Timberwolves. Um, and yeah, just kind of telling their story, but also promoting this this project wow. today. So. Okay, so let's, let's say um, thank you to some of these people. Yeah. So. Um, um, Do you want those? Yeah, if you want to write these down, because I've been writing these down. <laughs> and I hope it. Lori, what's your last name? Because I just see Lori Vaughn, which we could be Dutch. 
and she donated $4.99. $49.99. Um, $49.99, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. There was, um, uh, we've already got Nancy, it was the $50, she said. And there was... Um, I just donated through PayPal. Haiti? Haiti. Uh -huh. Griffin. Um, she donated through the PayPal, she said. Right. Um, <clears throat> so, um, and then also there was a, a Lori. There's a kit. Melinda Kenny. Kennedy. Which one? Um, I have a Donna donated. Linda donated through the Venmo. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. So there's Lawrence. He donated uh, $200. Thank you, Lawrence. Oh, my God. You guys are just fantastic. Um, a Vincent paid uh, $50 through the the PayPal. Regina paid through PayPal. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank or Regine. You. I don't know if it's Regina or Regine. Sorry. <laughs> Regine. It's probably Regina. Uh, Donna did the 15. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Um, <clears throat> so uh, Lori, oh yeah, Lori, she's coming on the retreat with us. Yay, Lori, you're so beautiful. Thank you. Um, gl glistening, and then I don't see the rest. She just donated $5. Thank you. Um, <laughs> PayPal sending me a, hey, what's going on? <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, if you get a hold on your payment, it should be okay, but yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Ken, hey, Ken, as a former Ken of ours that we know used to say, I never met a Ken I didn't like, so thanks for yes. your donation. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. Uh, Whitney, Kimberly, <laughs> Jasmine. Um, Hannah says, hi, hi to Diddy. Barbara. Um, happy to be Max mom. Um, up there. See, Wildflower is beautiful. She oh, said that's hi. Hannah. Hannah, yeah, wildflowers, Hi, Hannah. wildflowers. <laughs> Hannah, she donated nineteen ninety nine. Barbara, oh, Jasmine, hi, thank you, Hannah. Wildflowers within. Thank you, thank you, thank Hannah you. Hannah just donated nineteen ninety nine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. She said hi, Kennard. Hi. <laughs> we call him Kennard because uh, his sister used to always go Kennard. Always uh, teased you. <laughs> oh. I knew I didn't like her for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> was, uh, I can't find the wolf's. Oh, it's it's not Timberwolf Sky. Uh, here, I'll post it again. It is Treasure Sky at Treasure Sky at Venmo, and then the Treasure Sky Production dot com. Um, when you go to Treasure Sky Production dot com, there's a tab on the top right. Just click that, and then click Donate, and it'll show you how to do the PayPal, um, give you the PayPal link or Venmo link as well. So Carmen is saying, try and get in touch with the U.S. military attached in Holland. Didn't you already kind of get a, try to go to hold I, of them? I know I went through the Netherlands Film Fund, so I'm trying to go through them. There's just some things, because um, this is my production company I started last year. Uh, some of these grants uh, require at least two years in business. Um, so I'm trying to find grants that are okay with not <laughs> having that. Um, I have reached out to even um, Dutch production companies uh, to see if they would be able to help. Um, I know some grants they'll pay for almost 50% of the production if it's filmed in Holland or the Netherlands. But we need um, to get the other 50%. <laughs> that too. And so that's only a couple million. We just, yeah, we need we'll, to get We'll get it. Backing. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So just the I'm, right people. Oh, I'm Ken. Oh. Okay. Hi, right, Ken. <laughs> I'm just Ken. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, you know, oh, so Ryan they should facilitate travel to the Netherlands. Okay. Well, we'll check on into. that. Thank you. What about Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> They're trying yeah. to figure out the name. <laughs> Should we reveal the name? or Do you guys want him to reveal the name or you want us to keep on talking? It's 544, so we still have a little bit. Okay, out. yeah, we still have a little bit of time. So, What's another hint I could give? I will say uh, someone did get it correct in the chat, so we will acknowledge you. <laughs> we can find the name again. Um, so Academy Award winner. Well, wait a minute. Just go back. Because they were saying, you said that if they wanted to donate to their, their 104. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let me get the, let me get the exact website. My apologies. Okay, so if ahead. you want to donate straight to them, then he's going to give you that for the, the veterans. And this will also go for the veterans. This will also go for the travel. This will also go for the filming. So there's a lot of things that we're putting these donations to. And we will tell you 
when he comes back, like I said, if you can get on the TikTok, he's going to do um, um, videos. He's going to be live when he's in Holland. And when when are you guys going to Holland? In October? Yeah. So it's going to be October 16th through the 27th. Um, let me write this down. T. Rose just gave $20. Thank you, T. Rose. Thank you, beautiful, beautiful people for this. Good luck, Kenny. So he's going to he's gonna type it onto the um, chat here where if you're wanting to do and then say that it's coming from Kenny or yeah from the or you can say the tulip project the tulip um, project is why you're donating to them okay please say that So that is the website we just posted it in the chat um, we'll make sure to attach it on the video too it's uh, timberwolf 104 inf dot org no dot division org. sorry my apologies yeah so timberwolf 104 yes. inf dot org i think they'll talk about the um the tour the 80th anniversary union on that as well um so yeah we're we're helping them get across um to the event and regina just um, said she donated and again if you like books i think that book is sold out so hopefully they've uh yeah uh they restock that carol but. she said check your your paypal on your website's not working oh my website or his website? Is it crashing? Is it crashing because so many people <laughs> are connected on it? Right. This is a good problem to have. Yeah. We want this problem. We want this problem. Thank you so much, you beautiful people. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, we we all do. George Clooney. Um, like He might help. Yeah, but it's like how to get a hold of George Clooney. That's like we had a lot of people come up to us and go go to Tom Hanks because he's always in a lot of army, you know, films right. and things like that. And um, and people were saying people always run up to him and go, we got a story for right. you. You know, that's why I'm saying this is really individual. This is not just a made up story. This is a team that really helped liberate Belgium. Belgium also honors these these veterans, too. Um, uh, I think France does. A lot of the European countries honor these veterans from all different, um, you know, not just the 104. Do you yeah. Know what I mean? So another thing uh, Holland does is they still, I believe, every year send two shiploads, cargo shiploads of tulips to Canada because the Canadian first uh, was attached with the 104th at the um, uh, clearing of Antwerp. So, yes, they're very thankful. Yes, they <laughs> send them tulips but that's a all very, the time. That's, a that's why we Dutch, call it the tulip. That's the why tulip. it's a very Dutch thing that... Uh, I rub your back, you rub mine kind of thing. So yep. you take care of a Dutchman, he'll have your back. <laughs> yep. And I'm Dutch, so if you're nice to me. No, mm -hmm. just kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, it, it, it is a true story. Yes, it's a true story of, yes. We put some, like, fictional characters in there um, in the story, but the movie will be true. You know, we'll be going yeah. through the things because... I don't so think we it's, can say it's, name, uh, names. No, well, you can, but it's uh, it's inspired I'm by. I was going to have you do too. What? Name oh, names. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Uh, it's inspired by uh, true events. So again, it is a fictional story. The film is a fictional story, inspired by true events. Obviously, the documentary about the 80th um, anniversary um, would be real. <laughs> so, yeah, the film that's itself. That's Timberwolves right there. Yeah, that's some of the members. And I will say maybe this can be another um, clue. The guy on, would it be your bottom left? Under, above the 1945, that is Major General Terry, uh, Terry Allen. And the actor who does the voiceover, obviously where the next step would try to get him into the feature and attach him to it, um, would be playing the Major General. It's the man without a helmet in the darker coat above the 1945, Terry mm -hmm. Allen. Yeah, we reached out to Gary Sinise. Um, he his gets people, a lot of people. I will say his people were very nice and very responsive. <laughs> so there's some people you don't hear a word from. They were interacting, but he was working on. He works on so many projects um, that he had to bow out on that. Now I will say a lot of these questions were, or a lot of these people I reached out to were before the strike. Um, but so once I got <laughs> uh, the the actor during the strike, um, I, I ran with it. So. <clears throat> It says oh, you're can't send money right now. Oh. Okay, well we're gonna have to fix that. Uh, <clears throat> Regine said I donated on his page. So Please check what you can do to see if you can find if, Regine's thing on there. What we okay. could do? Do you want to oh, use well, my no. phone? No, so sorry, I'll we figure would, it out. 
yeah, we're going to have to figure it out. Please don't don't stop trying. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, sorry. just donated $10 on Venmo. Tamara. Yeah, I got that. That just went through for me. Okay. Tamara's did? Tamara. Yeah. Tamara. Tamara. <clears throat> I donated on PayPal, she said. Yeah, I got that. Thank yeah, you. on Regina. Regi oh, Regi yeah, I got that. Yep. Okay, you got that. Yeah, so. Got, so some of them but, are going through some of them. But Carol's right. saying that his website, da, 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 Tim Allen. Yeah, maybe even get a hold of Tim Allen or something. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? If you guys know of any ideas or if you've heard of something, we'd appreciate it to because we, we want this to happen. Just think, if this film comes up, you beautiful people get to say, I helped with that. I helped. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, or I know you know the story from ground zero on up that it's connected to us. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you'll we're, help spread the word. Right. <laughs> and so people said, you know, like there's veterans on the street. Believe it or not, me and Kenny have helped, you know, with um, um, food banks and, and, yeah, um, and we've given out socks. And we yeah. actually you know, my my wife's family, there's a, a group out here in L.A., that they donate about once a month all their clothes to veterans. Um, so a truck comes by, leaves a bag, and then they come back a couple days later, you just fill the bag with everything you can, clothes, you can offer furniture, televisions, and the truck comes back a couple days later and picks it all up. So Yeah, yeah. I gave her a bunch of clothes, and yeah. she probably donated to them on there, yeah. so yeah. And then they make money to help the people, so yeah. So that's definitely the, the thing. Yes, <clears throat> Veterans Affairs should help too. Veterans Affairs, should, they're saying to ask okay. Veterans Affairs. Thank you. This, I mean, this all helps. And like I said, if you can't donate, we understand. Just like, comment, and share. Um, we're going to be having the donation tab underneath uh, on the comments on this, okay? <clears throat> Someone said, Timber was the name of my dog that I adopted. He was wonderful. <laughs> yeah, and the name of the Timberwolf comes from the um, uh, them being from Oregon. So it was a, a nod to the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's you know, part of American history. It's part of Oregon's history. Or wounded history. warriors. I don't think wounded warriors would help. but Maybe. It doesn't hurt to help. Hurt what, to uh, uh, wound, wounded warrior, wounded pro warrior your project. Pro project. Yeah. So maybe do that. Um, I want you to do a couple of things here um, because it's saying that it, it's it probably is in shock that all of a sudden you I know it's payments. like you need to verify everything yeah <clears throat> I plan to donate in a few days love oh thank you Nicole thank you so much thank you thank you I, I mean it all helps it all helps um, I want Kenny to name off a couple names okay so I want him next. to read a couple names and that we're going to honor some of these people the first one, um, can you put the information on the show? We can't, we can't, on, I don't know what it's saying there because the heart's in the way. Can you, can you put information on the show? I don't know what. Mm. I don't know what it's, Teresa, we, it's, it's like, it's not letting us read it all. It's kind of, <laughs> sorry. It's a good, stupid place to put that. Um, uh, we'll wait and tell someone else. Okay, there we go. Can you put the information oh, yeah. on this show? So we we'll have the links on the tomorrow. page yes. when we post the page. Uh, same thing. It's going to have the same um, info here. Um, so it's going to have a link to the Venmo at Treasure Sky. Um, and then at the treasureskyproduction.com and select donate on yes. the donation tab. Um, Patty says, my cousin has something to do with Wounded Warriors. If you could tell him, Patty, that would be great. Even emailing me or emailing him or something like that. Link for PayPal again, please. Uh, where is... Yep, I got it. Okay. Um, if they say try... If, if it says they can try to donate tomorrow, yes. Link yeah. for PayPal again. There's the PayPal up on the thing. Uh, can you put the information? Yep, I plan to donate in a couple days. Happy Easter, yes, Happy Easter for beautiful people. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'll be I'll be uh, traveling to going to Sedona. You're so brave. <laughs> we are really, really wanting. This story has not been heard, and if you notice, a lot of people are like, "What are you talking about?" And I think this is an honor on both sides for for Europe and for uh, this American people and it's for all veterans not just the Timberwolves that we wanting to help I think that if we can get this film to go we could you know do projects and 
uh, nonprofit things to help veterans and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, we have we've been posting some of the uh, members on the TikTok page too. Um, there was well, we have Paul Franklin is obviously the one who started this all. Okay, can you meet that thing because yeah. I'm running out of papers. <laughs> Here, okay, uh, we're gonna do this <laughs> with doing... the uh, family members. Uh, keeping in touch with them. They were able to see the short film. Um, they came when we went to the Portland Film Festival. Um, so his kids and grandkids were able to see it. So that was a nice moment. Um, I also have to uh, shout out to Mary Jameson. She runs the Pups Association. So I'm always in contact with her. Right. Her dad was a pup and she handles all the paperwork the trips all that stuff so she keeps reminding me about this trip and hey we really want you to go <laughs> and she's the one that kind of gave us permission to tell this story right and, and tell their story so you know we want to follow we want to respect them and, and know that at the end of the day this story is told to um to shine a light on them and their dads yeah. shine uh, on <laughs> shine on a dutch heritage actor Oh, well, they're still yeah. trying to guess. Bradley, Bradley Cooper. Cooper he was I know. Afraid. I would love Bradley Cooper to film this. I would love. Uh, this may give some good way. I'd love Damien Chazelle to to direct this, um, but I think Bradley Cooper would be good with Warner Brothers. Right, Shirley Mills. She just gave us twenty dollars. I think. Oh, thank you. Twenty is that twenty dollars? Yes, twenty dollars. Thank you, Shirley Mills, for the twenty dollars. Appreciate it. Having problems donating, yes, Lawrence. Yeah, the the site, I think. <laughs> crash I think they're like, oh, well, uh, <laughs> yeah. how did he? What happened here? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? um, yeah. So we have uh, uh, another story that we did on TikTok was uh, Willie F. James. Mm -hmm. um, he was um, one of the first African American soldiers to win the Medal of Honor, um, and he was part of the 104th Timberwolves Division. So near the end of the war, they were running out of soldiers. So they, um, them and a bunch of other divisions finally allowed uh, black soldiers to help fight that wanted to fight. So um, they were one of the few divisions that did it and uh, he was honored. Um, unfortunately, it, he was finally honored, but it took him decades. It wasn't until the 90s where um, they didn't even have a photo of him. So his wife had to draw a photo of him um, for the ceremony of him receiving the Medal of Honor. Uh, so we have moments in the feature-length film honoring him and, and the Black Timberwolves. Um, was he in the... T t no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. No, just he, Black that Timberwolves. Would be, yeah, <laughs> yeah Black he Timberwolves, was in a red yeah. tail. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's trying to stay true to the story. So again, even though it's a fictional story, we're staying true to the history of where they were, what steps they took, um, the type of soldiers they were, um, where they came from. So it's going to be saying helped. based on a true story. Uh, inspired by a true story. Inspired by a true yeah. story, yeah. And uh, yeah, some of the ceremonies is at um, Oma's hometown of Outermosh. They're holding a ceremony yeah. there. So we'd like to be a part of that. Outermosh. I, um, I remember going there and trying to order, because you know my mom and dad are both from Holland. We have a long lineage there. And I remember when I was a little girl, we were in Holland. I didn't speak Dutch, and I was supposed to get bread and meat. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. And I was young. I was like yeah. six years old. They're like, go get some bread and some meat. And I'm like, I don't. <laughs> I remember that. Where is the link see. to donate? I cannot find it and have asked three times now. Sorry, I'm not looking in the right place. Um, um, so again, for if it's for through the production site. Can you see it on the, on the video here? It's going to be the treasureskyproduction.com and select donate. But again, PayPal is down right now uh, for me. <laughs> yeah, it's surprised Murphy by all this money. and everything else. Um, but if it's for the um, division itself, if you're looking to donate to them, I can bring that up again. It yeah, we should probably put that on the thing. Uh, www.timberwolf104inf.org. Is, is there an S on the Timberwolf? No. no. Timberwolf. Like that. Timberwolf. Singular. 104inf.org. Right. We'll type it in again. And oh, we'll maybe. add it to the link when the video is posted, too. Oh, you go backwards, probably. So let me type um, this in. So he's going to type it in again for you. Um, you can do that and then type in yours also on the thing. So why don't you give me a couple names while you're doing that? Well, what I was thinking, Okay, Jared? this could work or this could be not work. But okay. the reason I, I'm thinking of this is this has a name in the book of uh, all the soldiers that either survived, killed in action, missing in action. Um, and one of them, 
his name was James L. Griggs. So we have a Griggs member. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a James so, L. Griggs. So maybe so I was trying to see, see if, if there was a some... name. If you wanted to put your... Uh, did you try the Dutch Embassy when you are in D.C.? Oh, nice. So yeah. the Dutch we'll Embassy. We'll take your help, Carol. Yeah. So what is it? The Dutch Embassy. Is... Well, she said when I was in D.C. No, I did not. It was a quick trip just for this event. So we were there for one day. Um, and we only met oh, with so the Timberwolves. Oh, so let's get a hold of Carol. Carol, what's your last name? And Or Take email me, Carol, at photopsychicdebbie at gmail.com, and we'll have a conversation together. We'd appreciate that because she lives in the Netherlands. Did you try the Dutch embassy? So, Carol, we would appreciate your help on that. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so let, maybe we try to find some of these people's last names. <laughs> no, <laughs> they might have some see. family. Do you know what I mean? The people that are donated. Um, I'll look through it. O'Connor. Um, I don't know some of your guys' last name that donated. Um, if we can see, there's a, uh, how, how many people? How many people <laughs> were there? I, I would have to see the number. Um, they wouldn't have Grevin in there, would they? <laughs> maybe. Because uh, our our uh, Dutch, my maiden name was Graven. Grevin. G, they say Grevin here. Um, I see an O'Neill. That's the only an O I see. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. So let's see. I'm look My up boyfriend there. and I had when I was young fought in Desert Storm. Yes. If if any of you remember that he earned a Purple Heart, we're we're still friends. Fantastic, Kathy. Yes. Please advise where to make a donation for your son. I I don't have PayPal. Okay. So then you can either donate on here, Annie, or you can go to my. Um, page psychicdebbie.com um, and there's a donation page on there and then say it's for the Timberwolves okay so if you can't get on my son's you can't get on on his Venmo or or you can't donate on this then please go to my website psychicdebbie.com there's a donation page and then say this is for the Timberwolves I appreciate that, Annie. Thank you. So there's uh, like four places yeah. that you guys can donate. Okay. And Annie, there was a Donald M. Moore. So there was a Annie Moore there. Moore, Donald yes. M. Moore. I saw Levine. There was a Sanford S. Levine that was a part of the 104 Timberwolves. Photo uh, Psychic. Yep. Yep. Photo Psychic Debbie at gmail.com. You want to type sure. that in there? Yeah. Um, Photo Psychic Debbie at gmail.com. And then just go to the donation page. Um, Oh, you're in L.A. too? Oh, we could always meet for a cup of coffee. Yeah. So there was a... a what was it? A Photo Psychic Debbie, Debbie at, at gmail.com. Gmail. Okay. And then you can go to there. Um, another uh, Michelle... Oh, so, yeah. Oh, we ha we okay. already received that. Okay. Yeah, we thank have it right now. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all these. Let's... Smith. Smith. Spelled with a Y or is it... S M I. Anyone with the sure. last name Smith? Do you guys have any um, la people that you want us to look up? Can't donate. Kenny has problems. I know he has <laughs> massive problems. I'm telling you, being his mother. Oh my God. <laughs> Do we look Dutch to you guys? Yeah, right. <laughs> Do we look like we're from the Netherlands? <laughs> We have we have the the uh, strong streak. We have the stubbornness. What my husband says is honoring, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's uh, Nicole said you said it right. We'll email you. Thank you, Carol. Yes, if we can get this Von Holten, B Lori is coming to our uh, retreat. Van Houten. Van Houten. Van Houten. It sounds like <laughs> Dutch too. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Is there a Van Houten? Yeah, uh, maybe. All these names. I was looking at Smith. Smith. He's looking up the names for for the beautiful people. So. Um, yeah. Was it? Did they verify? The it Smith was one. I or why? Yeah. Because there's a lot of Smiths, but they're all I's. Um, Cecil Smith, Joseph Smith, Conrad Smith, Lawrence Smith, are the names on here. There's a lot, and there's a can up there. <laughs> no. So I mean, there's. Is there a Van <laughs> Houten? Um, Shia LaBeouf. No, he was in Fury, but not not connected for this film. So I guess we have time. We can tell them. Okay, who so the actor is. So let me. So let's. I'm 
I'm gonna look up Van Houten real quick. There's a Vandetta, <laughs> Van der Hage. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure he likes Hageslag. Hageslag. Van Orma. Slug. No, no Van Houten. No. But maybe they saved some Van Houten. Uh, My maiden name. Oh, got it. Huh. Von. Nope. Can you see that? The, the only, the, yeah, I got it. The only Vans I have is Vanderhaga, Vandetta, two Vandettas. What about DeWitt? D E W I T T. DeWitt? Let's see. Mm -hmm. And a John Williams. <clears throat> D no DeWitt. What about, no, um, do I don't know how to say that. Di Daikina? Daikina? Okay, so let's um, tell them who the things are. Um, and John Williams. John Williams. Well, and okay. on Williams. <laughs> so is that my phone? Yeah. So thank you so much, beautiful people. Like I said, if you know if there's a way to connect. Um, we had a Wesley Williams. A Wesley Williams. A Wesley Williams. Okay. Just Williams is my mother-in-law's maiden name. So. Inez, she just gave us twenty-five dollars. Okay. Oh, so. Nice. So Inez, right. thank you for the twenty-five dollars. I don't know if you want to write yeah. that on yeah. there. <clears throat> All right. So the moment. What, why don't you give them initials? Or no, just <laughs> someone's already guessed. So Inez uh, donated. There's uh, Stephanie Flynn. Okay. She donated ten dollars. Is that right for the Timberwolves or not? Yes. So and yeah, if you send it because my PayPal is having issues, if you send it to my mom's PayPal or send it to her, if you don't mind just writing like Timberwolf Tulip War Film, that way she knows how to, <laughs> to yeah, separate so from her not... other payments. Yeah. Right. Because I get payments through there. How much okay. was Stephanie's? Um, is that Stephanie's? Yeah, ten dollars. Ten. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. So, okay, and then yeah. uh, we already got the ideas. And we already got Michelle Ogood. Yeah, so. Okay. So, let me see if I so, can find it. Okay. So, um, not to get too much into it, but with the Kevin Cosner thing, Oma happened to be. Oh, yeah. The, Let's talk about that. Okay. We While I'm looking for who's got it right. Right. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, was Haiti. Yeah. Was Haiti Ken? Yep, that was Ken. Oh, see, never met a Ken I didn't like. A Ken okay, that you so never liked. Before we get to that, Haiti knows, so you can see it that way. But um, we reached out to Kevin Cosner as well because um, my grandparents, Oma and her second husband, um, would do things called rendezvous in uh, Montana. Mountain uh, men. My grandpa was a professional knife maker. So they go to these rendezvous, kind of reenact rendezvous from back in the 1800s. Um, and he was French Canadian. His last name was Dutch Jardin. And his trade was knives. So when they went to rendezvous, they would trade knives for like hides and different pottery and all this stuff. So it was and a cool little thing up. they would do all the time. Yeah, they'd stay in the teepees and be very authentic. Um, well, these producers came by, what would that be in the 80s? Yeah, it was, and, no, uh, yeah, 90s, it was in the 80s because 80s, I was asked 90s. to go there. And it was by Red Lodge. And um, they came by to one of these rendezvous and they thought, oh, this is kind of authentic. We're going to ask some people here if they'd like to be in this new movie that we're filming in North Dakota. And they asked my grandparents, would you like to do this movie? It's supposed to be a very big movie. Um, we're filming in North Dakota. You can stay with us. And they said, yeah. And that movie was Dances with Wolves. So if you watch Dances with Wolves, there's a couple scenes. <laughs> you can see my grandfather, my opa, um, in some of the hides. And he's in the buffalo hunt scene. Um, Which was a true buffalo skin jacket. Yeah. So... That's a connection to, to um, Kevin Cosner. But we were una unable to get him. Um, and then... Yeah, so, so they they were in the film. Yeah. Dancers with the Wolves. So, yeah. Which is funny yeah. because... Timberwolf. <laughs> Timberwolf. And I have a necklace. I could go get it. Yeah. That with Dancing with Wolves, that's exactly what's on the necklace. Yeah. The so, it's, so see how it's connected. So Marilyn Plant just donated $25 in memory of her timber, Andy. <laughs> thank you. Uh, That's so cute. You. So who yes. is uh, the so, person? So yes, Haiti got it right. The person that we signed was J.K. Simmons. 
So J.K. Simmons went to University of Montana, um, won e, the Academy Award for Whiplash, and you may know him as the yellow M&M <laughs> in the M&M commercials. And also the insurance. Um, and the insurance, yeah. Uh, insurance, he does the insurance. Yeah. Com- was it State Farm? Yeah, he was he was on La La Land, too. Yeah, he was in La La Land. This is our favorite, mine and his favorite movie. Well, my favorite movie is It's a Wonderful Life. But well, <laughs> La La, La, La Land's, Land's up there. Good, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we reached out to his agent, and J.K. agreed to do it. Um, so he did it a few months ago. So we have the recording. Um, the current edition of the short film is in post-production. So we have an uh, audio guy working it on, working on it right now to kind of match J.K.'s quality. Um so yeah, that's kind of where we're at with it now. We're looking to hopefully have that um, edit done in April and, and, and then start po- uh, submitting to festivals. And what did what the, the 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 leader always say? What did what's the phrase for the oh, Timberwolves? Oh yeah, so the phrase, and you'll see it on the TikTok and everything. Uh, so Terry Allen was um, the major general of the Timberwolves, and he had a slogan that they lived by, and it was called "Nothing in Hell Can Stop the Timberwolves." Um, so that's their slogan, and that's kind of what we're running with. Like, nothing in hell is going to stop us from making this film. <laughs> so yes, nothing in, in hell, hell can, can stop the, the Timberwolves. Timberwolves. And someone said it's like like six degrees to Kevin Bacon, right? Yeah, exactly. It's just crazy. Good night, Kathy. I guess she's going to bed or whatever. <laughs> but um, gosh, I was just watching a movie. Uh, I, with gosh, him. yeah. Which is and that's that the funny? thing. He's working a lot. He's doing television. When I told the story of him having to catch a fight to London, he was doing a, a play there during the strike. So. Uh, he's a busy man, and we caught him in the right time. Yeah, <laughs> so. angels, 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 right? Because yeah. we're, I'm like praying to Audrey Hepburn. I'm praying to, you know what I mean? Jimmy Stewart. So, <laughs> Jimmy Stewart, because he loves Jimmy Stewart so much that when you have a child, <laughs> yeah, call it's him like, James. He's gonna call him James. So we love the old movies. We love with the veterans helping, saving us, and all that stuff. So we, um, yes, yes. Oh, and here, I guess I should <laughs> the whole right. reveal. So there he yes. is. Yay! J.K. Simmons. If you didn't know what he looked like, that's what he looks like yes. right there. So I was going to be doing card reads for everybody, <laughs> but uh, uh, unfortunately we can't do that. I will write down your names, and then when I get back from my um, retreat, I will do it like a card reading on here. Don't go to my email. I won't do a reading for you on there because I'm too busy and I, I don't have the time. But I will do like a, 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 a I'm going to write down everybody's name that Thank donates you, and then I will do um, I'll do a live like this and say so and so donated. Here's a card reading yeah. for you. So we'll do we'll do that separate. So we can't, you know, yeah. we're honoring the veterans this <laughs> so, way better. Yeah, so. I want to say, you know, thanks for taking the time. I know this is a different kind of video for <laughs> for you all. Um, obviously, thank you to mom for allowing me My little the platform. Son. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> my baby <laughs> so got the lipstick no, on yeah, there <laughs> but thanks for allowing me to use this platform and uh take some time and talk to your lovely fans yes and, uh, thank you for your help thank um, you so so much for this you guys um the timberwolves the ones that have passed the ones that are alive are thanking you too um you know it's it's just an honor to be part of this I mean, I would love to go to Holland too, but it costs so much money that I'd rather give the money to Kenny and um, his wife, Katie, and the veterans and all that stuff too. So, um, yeah, it's just it's just an honor. It's just yeah. an honor. I'm so proud of Kenny to do this and that we're going to create this film. It's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. And they say, you know, it's not overnight. It right. takes years and years to do this. So, um, yes, come back. So sweet, son. We might even maybe do it again. Do you know what I mean? Maybe when I do like the card readings or whatever, saying thank right. you, he can come over and then we can talk about it again. Okay. So I want to give you beautiful. Oh, wait, one thing too. You know how I'm always talking about squirrel. So here's our squirrel for the show. And then I'm bringing this squirrel on our retreat. So look out for, um, if you follow me on TikTok, Psychic Debbie Griggs, I'm going to do some lives on there. And you'll see our little squirrel. Isn't he cute? This one can't get hurt. The other one does. So um, someone just donated. Yep. You want to say their name? Hold on. Celeste. Celestia. 27. um it, it cuts off your name, so it's, I'm, it, cut, I'm it cut off your name. Celeste for short. Yeah, 
It cut, it cut off your name, um, twenty seven ninety nine in Tulip. Okay. <laughs> so thank you for that. I appreciate that. Um, yes, good luck. Thank you thank for you, that. Thank you. Good luck with the film and the travel. So excited for our lives. Yes, yes. That's uh, Hannah saying. <laughs> <laughs> good night, squirrel. Thank good you, night, Kathy. squirrel. Any <laughs> cute? This is that one. We're not. We're maybe one show will figure out their names, but aren't they cute? I love you. I love you too. As the Dutch so, would say, Valtarasta. Yes. Good <laughs> avond. Good avond and Valtarasta. <laughs> and we want to give you such beautiful blessings and such beautiful, yeah, hugs and kisses. I just love you guys all. I appreciate all you beautiful, beautiful people. I really, really do. And I just love how look at this group the getting together. Come together. Yes, yeah. this community come together. And our and hopefully our prayers are getting answered. So thank you for keep the positive energy, Debbie. Thank you, thank you, and happy to be Max, Ken. mom. Thank you. So excited for Sedona. Yay. Maybe next we'll do the squirrel, a Debbie Griggs story. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the squirrel is he cute. He's so cute. So um, and I'm not ignoring the other one. I'm just saying I, I'm I'm gonna be a good grandma to the squirrels. <laughs> squirrel production. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So if I if yep. Get a squirrel lot of money, production. I'll do squirrel production. That would be cute. <laughs> <laughs> or the little Dutch girl. So, okay. I want to give you blessings and smiles. And until next time, bye-bye.